Hassan, I'm going to ask you a hard question here. Can you say something positive about Ben Shapiro? Oh, here we go. Well, I must admit, Ben Shapiro sure knows how to get high off his own farts. He talks way too quickly, much like destiny, and engages in some horrendously fallacious arguments. Destiny? Socialism or capitalism? That's the only way we can truly be liberated from the nonsense of capitalism. And hey, if you're really a capitalist at heart, why not just make all your money from streaming, man? Half streaming <laughs> makes you rich. Okay, here we go. We have another AI that we're gonna watch today with Hassan. We saw XCC yesterday. We saw Asmin two days ago. I think that this has potential to be really funny. So let's check it out. Personal question. I ask it every guest, and I want to start with that. Hassan, how big is your schlong? Uh, you know, I don't like to talk about such personal matters, but what I will say is that I can assure you that the size of my schlong has nothing to do with capitalism. <laughs> mm, but come to think of it. Capitalism has a lot to do with a lot of other things. <laughs> so maybe the root of the problem here is capitalism. Dude, right out the gate, all. dude. Who knows? I'm going to take off the Hagrid beard. Oh, yeah. Right out the gate, By the way, dude. everybody's lulling in the chat. We need your creative questions, guys. I know you guys are going crazy here. We need your questions so we can feed it to the AI. Hassan, why do you wear dump clothing? Man, why are we even speaking about my clothing? Let me leave my fashion choices to the experts who focus on what's <laughs> trending and fashionable and not to subjects to subject to analysis as if we're analyzing society. That's the kind of stuff that I try to stay away <laughs> from, especially because I've already made it, amassed millions of followers and cleared the bar of basically talented. But if you ask me, <laughs> I'm just ego. living the billionaire lifestyle in LA and wearing whatever <laughs> I feel comfortable wearing. Like, if I want to wear a chicken outfit, I'll wear a chicken outfit. Because you know why? Because no it's way, fucking capitalism. Dude. Capitalism, dude. That's why. Capitalism gives me the ability to waste money on a chicken outfit if I want to. Hail capitalism. <laughs> is this against capitalism? By the way, this is AI. This is parody. I don't know what is going on here. Because I thought he doesn't dude. like capitalism. This is so uh, funny. I don't know what's going on. Oh, here. dude. See, now you know why I wanted to watch this first, right? Now you know. Dude, he had so many. Oh, my gosh. In, this is going to be so funny. Well, other than standing up, I suppose it would be sitting down. Since that way, I can easily think of all those banana companies who exploit workers and the environment <laughs> without <laughs> actually giving the workers Turns their deserved share. everything into a political argument. It's See, so it all funny, comes back man. to capitalism, man. <laughs> That's why I prefer to snack organic and fairly traded fruits if we're going to be bringing capitalism into the equation. Ask him, okay. do you prefer capitalism uh, or... 89 is asking, uh, what do you think of World of Warcraft players? Wow, players are all right, I guess. You know it's a bit excessive for me, but if it makes people happy, then who am I to judge? As Mongol probably knows way more than me about it, though. As he Mongol. seems to have a lot of WoW fans, so... If he's down to tell him what he thinks, then more power to him. Man, nothing like seeing someone get passionate about a game they love. Out of all the games to get passionate about, isn't WoW a bit outdated, though? Oh, well, I guess if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Hash hog watch. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, for the people watching, like uh, you guys might wonder. What the hell? <laughs> let's go. Asmon Gold, what's your hot take on what Hassan just said about WoW Dude. players? Asmongold, you there? AI Asmongold? What do you think about uh, Hassan's take on uh, World of Warcraft players? Well, true and real, Frog underscore 89 underscore. WoW is an old game now, but the nostalgia it brings and the passion it still produces is insane. It's wild to think that a game that came out in 2004 <laughs> can still have a passionate player base 16 years later. It's coming up on its 17th anniversary, dude. And there's still so many folks that play it and still so much content to explore. You got to respect that. I mean, what a day, dude. <laughs> what a fucking day. A game like that is just as relevant today as it was in 2004, if not more so. And yeah, I think folks like you and me can appreciate that and find a way to express our passion too. You know it, I know it, everyone knows it. Let's go Big Dick Boys <laughs> no, and Watch. Hey, Big, big Dick Boys. <laughs> Now I'm going to be asking a question to Hassan. We will be ping-ponging. If okay. people ask a certain specific question, if you guys want Asmongol to respond to it, you guys can do it. So that way there is more interaction. Same with XQC. Uh, I was kind of hoping he would just do Hassan today. How did you become such a huge streamer? Was there anyone who helped you a lot early on? 
Man, when I joined Twitch for the first time, I had a very specific goal in mind, and that goal has come to fruition. I've been here for 10 years, and I've taken a few looks, starting out at a political network, transforming into the one-man show, and then elevating my own content with an approach that combines information, entertainment, and left-wing coverage in an incredibly relatable, accessible way. Plus, I don't think people watching any other streamer can generate the kind of money I do for Ukrainian and other international relief funds because capitalism, but I was lucky enough to get some help early on. I don't want to name any names, ha, 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 but I'm sure you can guess who I'm talking about. Asterisk, wink, emoticon, asterisk. Okay, we got here Espan. No way. Hassan. Pick one, socialism or capitalism? Uh, okay, here's yeah, my man, question. Of course, I'm a people observer. <laughs> Being able to observe people is an important part of my job as a Twitch streamer <laughs> and political commentator. Hey, notice that I'm good at analyzing people and situations. That's probably because I used to be a psychologist and therapist back in the days. So I had to observe people and their behavior to better understand them. At the end of the day, it's all about connecting with other people and understanding their perspectives. That's the real key to a successful career in Twitch streaming. Or maybe it's all really just because capitalism has got us all wrong. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> I don't know. You tell me. Oh, Damn, so my like, gosh. We, we're, we're having a little so bit of good. glitches. A little bit of glitches. Dude, yeah. I, we got here sometimes Espan. It's totally I want to ask again the question. Espan's question. Hassan. Socialism or capitalism? Socialism all the way, man. <laughs> capitalism is a sham. It's the biggest <laughs> lie foisted on the people of this world, trying to convince them that they can get ahead by amassing wealth and possessions instead of valuing people and building community. And while I'm not opposed to wealthy people or people building some wealth, I think it's ultimately a fool's errand. The only way to truly have a prosperous nation and a fair society is through socialism and providing for everyone's basic needs. That's the only way we can truly be liberated from the nonsense of capitalism. And hey, if you're really a capitalist at heart, why not just make all your money from streaming, man? Half streaming makes you rich. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Okay, Dude. okay guys. Um, Hassan, personal question from Athene. How much porn is too much porn? As far as I'm concerned, I think as long as you're watching porn consensually and not damaging anyone else's mental health, <laughs> then there's no such thing as too much porn. That being said, We're if you're watching your too much porn to the point where it's starting to become an addictive behavior, then yeah, you should definitely take a step back and reevaluate your relationship with porn. Just don't forget to take care of yourself. Capitalism, the point I'm trying to make is please, please, don't please. be a neoliberal dog. <laughs> Control your porn consumption and always stay safe, you know? Yeah. Dude, but what the hell? Why not just watch all the porn? Always turns That's one politics. way to stick it to capitalism. Am I right? Passion capitalism now. Dude, this is the biggest meme, dude. This is so good. It's so good, man. Whenever okay, I first I met really Hassan, I actually okay, felt okay, this okay, way okay. about um, Hassan. I was like, dude, this guy literally turns everything you. into politics no matter what. And then over the years, he got so much better. He still does politics, but he doesn't do that Sam, thing where everything would turn into a political argument all the time. I do want to say there is <clears throat> bugs because we are reacting as well. <laughs> Why is he dancing? <laughs> but the next question is, Hassan, how do we fight capitalism? Oh man, I love a good oh. XQC. You know what? You are so right here. Like, what? yes, of course, you should always watch porn only if it is consensual. <laughs> to be honest, most of these corporations that make porn are way too greedy and don't care about the safety or well-being of their performers. So why not take control ourselves? It can be a way of indirectly yeah. sticking it to capitalism in a way. Uh, Exodus just inserts I mean, himself. If we can almost make porn production non-profitable by taking away the revenue streams that benefit these greedy corporations, then why not? It's like it? an old school scuff but podcast. Time, Somebody brings really up a topic from like 10 minutes ago. There must be a balance between fighting capitalism and taking care of your health and well-being. But it takes some time to generate the answer. So while it's generating, we already do a previous answer. So that's 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 how it works. Okay. And as a result, since that we are now having this React streamer, we are having bugs and we're actually testing them live. That's how it works. But the questions are actually from the chat and nothing is scripted. Everything is generated by AI. If Ben Shapiro was a girl, do you think you could fix her? The thing with capitalism is that it is incredibly pervasive and embedded in the structures of our society. 
<laughs> the whole system is set up to reward those at the top, meaning those with money and power and those at the bottom with no money and power like, are left behind. So how do we fight it? Well, first, we have to stand up to those in power and challenge their rule. We have to demand change in our society and remember that the government works for and represents us, not the other way around. Secondly, we must prioritize job security, health care for all, universal basic income, and economic security for all people. We must push for policies that prioritize people and not corporations. The ends justify the means. True. So let's not deal with it from a form of leniency and just fucking throw them in jail. That's how we fight <clears throat> capitalism, dude. Nothing I do is performative. <laughs> that was uh, the answer to the previous question, so I'm going to ask my question again. If Ben Shapiro was a girl, do you think you could fix her? Man, this is a tough one. <laughs> If Ben Shapiro was a girl, I'd probably need some divine intervention to try and fix her. The guy's been spouting nonsense for years, and honestly, I don't think anyone can turn him around. However, no tolerance to the intolerant. So at the end of the day, I just treat her as just another person. But if someone had to try and fix her, I refuse to accept any responsibility for attempting this impossible task. Has your finger ever slipped through the toilet paper? No, I haven't. But I guess that happening literally is an easier way of understanding how much of a neoliberal dog this dude is. <laughs> holy shit, dude. Holy fucking shit, dude. Literally lying. <laughs> okay. Ex-leditor, Hassan, what's your most controversial opinion? I guess my most controversial opinion would be that capitalism and liberalism is actually what's wrong with the world and is the root cause of a lot of problems. Of course, it's impossible to prove this, so I guess this opinion is untestable or moot in some areas. But if we're talking about politically and societally powerful countries like the U.S., then it definitely holds true. I should All ask of him this and more. Uh, While I'm wearing some bomb-ass drip that looks like straight out of a Dark Souls game, <laughs> if I do say so myself. Yep, bomb ends justify drip. the means. Holy shit, ends dude. Justify the means. <laughs> Who do you think is more handsome? You oh, yeah. or... As a powerful as AI, if our could give you Lord. unlimited access to the internet, how would you fight capitalism? <clears throat> Man, that's a tall order. But if I had unlimited access to the internet, I would use my power to spread awareness of the evils of capitalism by creating memes, <laughs> making videos and podcasts, and creating a massive online community of people who share my views on capitalism and wage war against it in the form of education and advocacy. And let's not forget, I'd also be able to exploit the weaknesses in the system itself and use technology to level it. But the point I'm trying to make oh. is the only way to win is to roll up our sleeves, get our hands dirty and give capitalism the good old fashioned beat down it deserves. <laughs> oh, and by the way, once I'm done, I'll make sure to throw in some uh. top notch drip and send a message to those <laughs> capitalist pigs that freedom ain't no game. <laughs> That last sentence was so funny. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's the so question amazing. from the chat. I don't know what this no cue, game, I guess. Baby. Hassan, do you have the big dick I energy? love that. Freedom ain't no game, baby. Oh, my God, dead dude. Man, I don't know about the big dick energy, but I think I got that chill and intelligent energy. You know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I'm going to say no. No big dick energy here. Oh, Unless you think the big dick is capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> nah, probably not. Uh -huh. <laughs> Wait, wouldn't that mean? I don't mind. Oh, yeah. What was your funniest moment in your life? Okay, so my funniest moment was when I was in my high school days and I snuck into the local bar with some of my buddies and ended up getting caught by the police. We ended up Wait, talking what? our way out of it as we convinced <laughs> them that I was actually a lawyer doing research for a case. It was probably the most ridiculous story I've ever told in my life, but it worked like a charm. What the hell is this story? We managed to get away scot-free. And as I still reflect on that moment, it's just hilarious to think about. I guess it goes to show that the it's ends yeah, it's justify a, it's a meme. the it's means just, sometimes. It's a parody. It's an, an anti-capitalist way of thinking and action. Man, love to hear myself talk. <laughs> <laughs> love really to like hear myself talk. Dance. That's <laughs> amazing, dude. Um, That's amazing. That's incredible. Hassan, oh. what is your take on XQC's drip? XQC's drip is definitely fly, but it's not as good as my drip. I mean, I'm pretty much dressed for the apocalypse at all times. 
Come on, I was born to be a boss. Plus, nobody can pull off a leather jacket like me. But it's all good, man. XQC still got his drip game on point. And the fact that he looks up to me kind of makes me feel like a dad. Capitalism is the problem. Nah, XQC is the problem. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. I love XQC. What will you do to oh, McMahon, sure the term? Oh, I didn't my mom? <laughs> the way he was like, wait a second. He took off his glasses. Well, at Athena Live, your mom is the classic example of neoliberal dog that everyone seems to think is the norm. So I'm assuming you're asking what I'm going to do to lead the change. I'm going to start by showing her that she got it all twisted and explain why to her capitalism ain't making sense. And then maybe buy her some dope drip and throw her a hogwash party with some donor and a Dark Souls theme. <laughs> Dark Souls. point I'm trying to make is if there's no tolerance to the intolerant, then we can't deal with it from a form of leniency. The ends just don't justify the means. It's time to just fucking throw them in jail. Hassan's face, Hassan's face, like what? He literally looked like, what the hell did he just say? Thanks for the contagious laughter, who are Like, what, why do you, why do so many girls find you attractive? Well, first of all, they must know who they're dealing with. They must know they got an East Coast OG in front of them, LOL. Secondly, I guess they like my drip. And of course, the fact that I laugh at all the wrong stuff, man. And I'm like charming and infinitely curious and inquisitive. But I think the main reason is because I'm out here fighting for left wing causes. And one day when the revolution comes and we overthrow the orange dictator, I'm going to be a freaking hero. And every girl wants a hero. Oh, and also here comes the top of the hour ad break. <laughs> yes. Oh, that's What? so funny, dude. <laughs> <laughs> amazing amazing oh my gosh that was so perfect okay <laughs> also here's an ad break <laughs> actual best one dude that's so funny maybe i should start an ad but i'm gonna, oh gonna do that gosh. i will actually give it hassan if destiny was a girl do you think you could fix her oh no no i don't think i could fix destiny she's too problematic and i think she's stuck in her ways But Jeez. if she was a girl, maybe it would be more interesting. I mean, if I had to work with her and I saw her wearing a dress, maybe I would be nicer. But the thing is, <laughs> you can put a lot of pretty dresses on a bad apple and it'll still be a bad apple in the end. Huh? That's why I'm not into the whole fixing people philosophy. All I care about is the truth. And that doesn't depend on gender. Anyway, here comes the top of the hour ad break. <laughs> <laughs> She just did an ad break. Oh my gosh, that was funny. Okay, Psych 181. Oh my gosh, that was uh, funny. Hassan, are you going to be president? <laughs> my darkest bedroom secret? Man, that's a weird one. What the hell? Okay, here's the deal. When I'm alone, I like to break out my old Dark Souls 3 PS4 game, and I role play being a knight in a store while eating chicken donuts. No one needs to know that. It's too weird and unnecessary. Plus, it's totally not who I am. Donor, come I'm on. a radical leftist that believes in accountability and that the ends justify the means. And Dark Souls doesn't fit that ideology at all. But I guess I'm still just a dude at heart who needs some downtime. So there it is. My deepest, darkest bedroom secret. Dude, no way amazing. this is getting out. Okay, like, oh. uh, that was probably a mod question. Now, my question again, like, uh, from Psych181. Hassan, are you going to be president? Man, I oh. wish... President Hassan Abi has such a nice ring to it, don't you think? But no, I don't think so, at least not anytime soon. That's not to say I wouldn't do the job well. I mean, I do have a double major in political science and communications. Plus, I'm always advocating for progressive left-wing policies, making sure stupid right-wing figures get called out. And when it comes to tolerance, there's no tolerance to the intolerant. But alas, it doesn't look like President Hassan Abi is in my immediate future. But hey, at least there's the top of the hour ad break, which you can't escape anyways. <laughs> which you can't Ain't that something? You can't escape the ad break. Okay. Oh my gosh. Like, when you're responding, by the way, right? Uh, Hassan, there's a girl that is, you know, faded away. Can you say, like, who is that? <laughs> Whoa, what the hell? Yeah, that's one of my buddies, Valkyrie. We're the best of friends. She enjoys my top of the hour ad breaks just as much as anyone else. <laughs> Valkyrie's definitely got her own drip going on, too. Like, she always looks like she's coming straight out of a Dark Souls game. But, you know, that's capitalism, baby. 
you dress like a boss or you die like a peasant. Ain't that something? <laughs> I'm all, oh my gosh, dude. Oh, yeah. That's so funny. Uh, mm-hmm. <laughs> dress Coat like a boss suit. or die like a peasant. Would you boy? smash? What should the US have done about the Chinese spy balloon? When it comes to the oh, Chinese really? spy balloon, first off, let's not be lenient. Nothing I do is performative. Why aren't we doing that? The end justifies the means. Let's just fucking throw them in jail. <laughs> Debating is a blood sport, and good arguments are better than bad arguments. No tolerance to the intolerant. There's got to be repercussions every oh, no. now and then. I'm a capitalist. But by the way, here comes the top of the hour ad break. But he said he's a capitalist. I don't understand it. Sometimes, I guess when you ask questions that are not in... in, in <laughs> This idling, what is that? <laughs> it's like the AI sometimes makes weird connections. But yeah, people Throw take them those in jail. Like, we got your um, outdated jail, asking, dancing. what is your favorite reality TV show? What a fucking great show. Milk Manor is amazing. It's the perfect way to escape from the harsh reality of capitalism for a couple of hours. And the genuine emotion and reactions of the contestants make for some real interesting drama. Plus, those attractive, mature ladies are always looking for a younger, wild lover that can provide the satisfying experience they need. It's a wild ride. And don't you forget, here comes the top of the hour ad break. Good What's man. the difference between Democrats and Republicans in terms of how they behave in bed? Man, Republicans and Democrats sleep in their own beds, so that's already a big difference. Democrats are more likely to be down for some role play or something a little bit kinky, <laughs> while Republicans just want to perform the same old tried and tested moves night after night. But one thing that's for sure is that regardless of your political affiliation, you still got to keep it safe and consensual, you know? No True. tolerance to the intolerant. <laughs> Who do you think has the biggest schlong of all streamers? Man, if we start talking about the size of the streamer schlongs, <laughs> then we start talking about power issues. Hey, wow, folks, love me some streaming, but this isn't what streaming is about. The point I'm trying to make is the size of someone's schlong doesn't make them powerful. Capitalism does. That's why no tolerance to the intolerant and no lenience from me. So in terms of the size of the schlong, why don't we just enjoy this top of the hour ad break and not deal with it from a form of leniency? But I guess if you're forced to answer the question, then I'd say probably Tommy Laren has the biggest schlong on the streaming scene. Nothing I do is performative. Oh my gosh. Oh. It's Tommy Laren. Oh my gosh. What oh, what a. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. Standing is she up still around? Is she still around? Man, what the hell is wrong with this dude? I mean, it sounds like a joke, but come on, this is serious business. Do I poop standing up? Dude, I'm a human. <laughs> of course, I sit down on the porcelain throne and do my business like the rest of y'all. Nothing I do is performative like some of my contemporaries uh, out there. The point I'm trying to make is so that good. real creatives do their thing in the best way for them. And for me, that's pooping sitting down. Hassan, what are your thoughts on cat girls? Dude, cat girls are all cool. I mean, nobody is going to judge anyone for having preferences in that area. Everyone has the right to express themselves sexually. And frankly, I think it's awesome that people are free to do that. But I guess what can I say? It does sometimes get very cringe. And it's like, hold on, wait, who said something about cat girls? <laughs> oh, right. Here comes the top of the hour ad break. Damn capitalism. <laughs> Crazy, right? Anyway, yeah, cat girls are cool, I guess. I'm dying. Dude. Oh yeah, Skoog one, Hassan, tell a joke without mentioning capitalism. <laughs> Man, I told you, capitalism is everywhere. But okay, I got one. Why did the chicken go to the seance to get to the other side? Get it? Get it? Good arguments are better than bad arguments, dude. Let's not deal with it from a form of leniency. The ends don't even justify the means. What, what the you? hell is wrong with this joke? Oh, my God. Everybody blast this tweet, please. And here comes the top of the hour ad break. I, I can't breathe. Dude, I can't. Who do you think is more handsome, uh, Hassan or Esfand? Man, I don't know. 
Esfan definitely puts out a better drip. So if I'm being honest, he's probably got the edge there. Hey, the that Hagrid drip. Said, the I'm Hagrid still pretty drip, confident boys. in my own oh. guys. Plus, I've been here for 10 years, so I'm not going to let anyone outshine me just yet. In any case, I know at least one of us looks in the mirror and smiles extra much. So, okay, I'm going to ask a question here. Hassan, who do you think is the sexiest male Twitch streamer? Oh, here we go. That's a good one. There's obviously some good looking dudes on Twitch, but I'd have to say the sexiest male Twitch streamer is my buddy, Will Neff. Oh, He's got that go. tall, buff stature, the perfect beard, go, a smoking hot Instagram account, and most importantly, a heart of gold. <laughs> but I guess we're all Giga Chads compared to Destiny, right? Oh, no tolerance to the intolerance. Destiny catching strays, dude. What the hell? Oh my God. What the hell? Why is he going to <laughs> Destiny randomly? What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Dude, he should do a By Destiny way, AI. All AI generated it. Nothing he should, is scripted. He should do I want to tell you, AI. these are questions from the chat. Uh, do you wipe from the front or the back? Oh, that's a good one. Honestly, I'm going to go with both. Because you know what they say, ain't no shame in switching it up. <laughs> all right, got to go, Mr. Clean. The point I'm trying to make is that hygiene is important and hygiene is freedom. And capitalism demands dirt and shame. So don't even get me started on that. Holy fuck, who knew wiping your ass could be a political statement? <laughs> Come on, man, this is really like... <laughs> this is pretty crazy. Okay, we got Ihoy Limby here. What do you think I about Donald from Trump? Wilding, dude. I have a headache from Donald Trump, sword. what a freaking orange dictator, dude. <laughs> He's a racist, lying, Nazi-loving piece of shit who somehow <laughs> has the audacity to call himself leader of the free world. Oh my this God. guy just doesn't get it. Like, come on, dude, seriously? What the hell is wrong with him? Let's just fucking throw him in jail and get it over with. That's the only solution at this point. The ends is justify the demon? means. What's way. the best way to hide my... Boner in the public. Oh, that's a good one, too. A good the one. best way to hide your boner in public, man, I don't know. But what I do know for sure is that the best way to hide your boner from this neoliberal dog of a system is to act like a capitalist, even though it ain't <laughs> anything but a shenanigan. A good old trick I learned from Hank Pecker is to cover up that boner with stuff you bought Hank yourself Pecker. using your daddy's inheritance money. <laughs> Good old Hank could make an entire HVAC business an empire with nothing but his daddy's money. Am um, I right? What a freaking liar, dude. Uh, oh, my gosh. This is amazing, man. Dude, this is so funny. Esfant here, oh, here. Uh, is asking a question. Hassan, do you eat corn the long way? Here we go. I mean, do I eat corn the long way <laughs> like some sort of corn eating champ? Nah, ain't got no time for that. Oh. But I do think the consolidation of corporate ownership of corn is kind of ridiculous and should be avoided. <laughs> That's why in my own home, I always buy organic corn. Nothing but the real deal. <laughs> Holy fuck. The number of people buying into big corn schemes is so corn. crazy pants. Big corn. The point I'm trying to make is, yes, in the long run, maybe eating corn the longer way is more efficient and sustainable. But in the short term, it's important to take a stand against corporate corn monopolies. <laughs> Oh, the yeah. best answer. We that got was here. so funny. Duda Athena. <laughs> Hassan, what happens after we die? <laughs> corn Monopoly. <laughs> Man, I don't know for sure, but all I can say is that I hope we get some much deserved rest, or at least I do. All I know is that some people are dead and never come back, but maybe the soul transfers to a new body or something. But what I do know is that if it turns out all of this was just capitalism's plan to keep us enslaved in life, then I'll be really pissed. And that is way worse than any kind of afterlife. No bueno, man. Uh, Wait, what the hell? <coughs> Hassan, what is your monthly budget? Well, man, my monthly budget is pretty simple. What oh, I make, I go. spend. Now, lots of people <laughs> would argue against this conservative approach to finance, but I believe in spending what you make and not going on a reckless spending spree. Wait, you should be conservative, yet smart with your money if you want to build wealth. You should, you should that be said, I'm a businessman and a baller, so I can afford splurging here and there on things like my Porsche Taycan, which was a dope investment, by the way. Incentive aside, the point I'm trying to make is dope that I'm successful, investment. so I can well afford my lifestyle, and destiny wishes he had my drip. Capitalism Why for the destiny? win, yo. Why is he throwing destiny in there?
What do you think of Starforge PCs? Man, I just don't know what to think of Starforge PCs. I want to say Dr. Pepper. On the one hand, it looks like they got some pretty darn good designs that look good and perform well. Okay. But on the other hand, <laughs> they're owned by Microsoft, one of the most powerful <laughs> capitalists in the world. So, you know, good arguments better than bad arguments. The ends justify the means. No tolerance to the intolerant. So why aren't we able to do something like this on our own? Yeah, the point I'm trying to make here is Starforge PCs are good, I guess, but capitalism is the real problem. Expo got to make sure we blast capitalism's tweet. <laughs> Uh, I got a question here. Uh, Hassan, how do you feel about the fact that you're very slowly but surely going bald? Yeah, dude, true and real. Well, what a day indeed. Athene always seems to have something funny to say or something cool to show us. It's pretty amazing considering he's been a part of the WoW gaming culture for so long. And as for baldness, hey, bald is beautiful. There's no shame in it, and you don't have to hide it, dude. Asman just assumes I'm sure he's it's talking tough to him. embrace, but we all have our own unique individual lives, and that includes hair. <laughs> so embrace it, dude, and keep going, big dick. Hassan, what is it about AOC that you find hot? Man, AOC is hot. <clears throat> she's smart, she's progressive, she's an incredible debater, and she speaks her mind without fear. She's definitely got my full support. And it's not just her political views that I admire. There's a hotness about her that you just can't deny. Oh, no! I mean, she wears a really oh, dope no! outfit nearly every time she's out in public, and that's a major bonus. Let's just say... AOC got game and she don't play no game. Oh, and let's not forget that she played Among Us with me. You don't get more boss than being able to play Among Us with Hassan Abi. No cancellation culture can take away my admiration of her hotness. That's the real truth. Capitalists and neoliberal dogs beware. So, <clears throat> oh my Naga Toroyon Joyer. Hassan, could you beat Forsen in a fight? No, I can't beat Forsen in a fight. He looks like he works out a lot more than me, and he's taller too, so I'm pretty sure he has a reach on me. At least I'd have him throw a few punches at me while I listen to Lady Gaga's applause and pretend it's a TikTok soundbite. That or we can just make our fight a capitalism versus socialism debate, and I'll win that fight all day long. Hassan, can you rap for us? Rap? Yo, I ain't no Eminem, but I can drop some knowledge on you, shorties. Let's see. Let me think of shorties, something. Shorties. Shorties. Uh, I got it. Capitalism is obviously the number one issue facing the world today, you dig? It's the root of poverty, the lack of education, the low wages, and everything else that's wrong with the world. That pretty much sums up what I know about rap. And did I tell you? Capitalism did that, did that is bad. Rhyme? None of that rhymed. <laughs> What are your thoughts on Asmongold or Esfan TV? Oh, here we go. Man, I don't really care for Asmongold or Esfan <laughs> TV that much. They both seem to be quite content to simply toe the establishment line and rarely offer much in the way of thoughtful criticism. They're just playing the game and trying to get by like so many Twitch streamers do nowadays. The point I'm trying to make is you either challenge the status quo or you perpetuate it. And these two, in my opinion, have just kind of been along for the ride. If you ask me, it kind of feels like something out of a bizarro version of Game of Thrones. If the Starks and the Lannisters formed an alliance and nobody cared. But this is really good. These answers are really smart. I'm really baffled by this. Like, Esfant is asking a question here. Would you snack on your own wiener if you could? This dude. Wait, what? Man, it ain't worth it. Dude, why would you even snack on your own wiener? You're like a neoliberal dog with no respect for yourself. Okay, yeah, no tolerance to the intolerant. What would you be doing if you weren't into politics? I guess if you're asking me to narrow it down just one, I'd probably be doing stand-up comedy and creating comedic content. Holy shit, dude. Holy fucking shit, dude. Let's just cut the shit and do stand-up. <laughs> Let's just get the shit in this day. 64 Pinorik. Hassan, who killed the queen? Who the fuck killed the queen? Oh, holy shit, man. I think that's a conversation for another day. But if I got to guess, my money's going to have to be on empire building neoliberal piece of shits who wanted to expand their control of the world. Man, I can't believe this is actually happening. It's a fucking outrage. 
Asterisk comes up with a funny idea for a video about it. Wait, wait, I'm getting an idea for a video here. What if we go investigate and find out who killed the queen? Nah, who am I kidding? That's probably way too much work. Man, he's sometimes really pissed. When you ask certain questions, I feel like he's getting pissed. Hassan, do you believe that Athene and his crew pre-scripted all the AI responses ahead of time? Oh, yeah, good. No, I haven't heard anything about that. But looking at their content, I wouldn't be surprised if it was pre-scripted. It certainly looks like it. <laughs> the ends justify the means, right? <laughs> Holy fucking shit, dude. It's Roast like they it. just scroll through a list of responses and then pick one that's closest. How do they think yeah. this is going to be entertaining or funny? <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, man. Like, Hassan, what do you think at home when you're alone? Oh, my God. When I'm all alone at home, I like to take some time to meditate and just chill out. I light a few candles and some incense, relax to some guitar licks, and let my mind wander. <laughs> That's licks. probably the closest thing I can get to an escape from the nonstop political debates and drama that constantly consumes my life. It also lets me get lost in some deep thoughts which helps me reconnect with my inner self and be more mindful of my environment. Plus, it's always an excuse to blast some Cardi B to get me in the vibe because we all got to admit that she makes some bangers. <laughs> Cardi B. <laughs> oh Cardi Jay-Z Rain, what do you think about Jordan Peterson? Jordan Peterson is one of those dudes who pretends to be a centrist when in reality, he's a right-wing weasel. He's one of those dodgy figures who have all kinds of terrible takes. I dislike him so much. If he ever decided to run for president, I'd rather vote for an orange dictator instead. But I guess then Peterson would have been the orange dictator instead. Holy shit, dude. Dude, it's so funny, man. What secret does Ethan Klein have that nobody else knows? Oh, man, you're asking me to go deep into the subterranean levels of secrets. I assume you're talking about Deep Ethan Klein, because that guy seems to always go too deep. All I can say is that I think Ethan Klein is a very dark and mysterious figure. He may be a really nice guy, but he has a secret, and it's a doozy. He's an undercover vampire staying up all night and sometimes <laughs> feeding on his own viewers. I know it sounds crazy, but people don't always tell you their deepest, darkest secrets. Although he may just be a normal guy who loves sleeping late and playing video games. Or who knows, he may have even more secrets hidden beneath the surface. What the hell? So the point I'm trying to make is nobody, not even me, really knows all of Ethan Klein's deep, dark secrets. <laughs> Hassan, do you have any opinions on frogs? Yo, man, I had to pause for a second there to process what the fuck you even said. To be honest, I'm not even sure I get it. Like, is the question, what is your opinion on frogs or... What is your opinion on the new frog memes that have taken over Twitter lately? I'm going to just assume it's the former and answer that. I think frogs are cool little critters, and maybe I shouldn't say this, but cool little Sam's critters. monocle and top hat, I kind of identify with them. They must go through some tough times, I feel like. Monocle Plus, imagine waking up every morning needing to go on a hunt for food, and you suddenly realize you don't have hands. <laughs> Fucking nightmare. The ends justify the means, but let's not deal with this from a form of leniency. When we start analyzing society, frogs get zero representation, which is weird because frog culture is huge, especially in the online culture. Frogs are monsters, of course. Anyway, you get the point. Man, actually, now that I think... He flipped. He flipped. He flipped. Man, does he do this also on his stream? Is it always redirecting to make it political? Like everything dude, goes back political. This it's is insane. so funny, dude. Is it the same on the stream as well? Hassan, I'm going to ask you a hard question here. Can you say something positive about Ben Shapiro? Oh, here we go. Well, I must admit, Ben Shapiro sure knows how to get high off his own farts. He talks way too quickly, much like Destiny, and engages in some horrendously fallacious arguments, Destiny? which is what make him a very entertaining character to observe. But I'd be lying if I said I haven't learned some valuable lessons from Shapiro, especially when it comes to debating. I guess the point I'm trying to make is Ben Shapiro is a sight to behold. But let's not forget about the issue of income inequality that Ben is ignoring <laughs> and pretending doesn't exist. 
After all, it's capitalism that created the environment for people to become this rich and powerful. Holy shit, dude. What a freaking liar Ben is. Hassan, address the food fetish allegations. No, I haven't. Holy fuck, dude. What are you even talking about? Yes, I like sex and porn, but nobody accused me of a foot fetish. If anyone accuses me of something absurd like having a foot fetish... I'm going to come at you with both barrels because that is unacceptable. Oh, shit. That's like accusing me of being an orange dress-wearing fascist dictator. Trust me, there's no tolerance to the intolerant. By the way, here comes the top of the hour ad break. Why don't you share your wealth with the masses and instead bought a multi-million home? What the hell is wrong with this dude? <laughs> First of all, it's not like I'm sharing my wealth with the masses anyway. Then you expect me to buy a multi-million house? I mean, I bought the house. So what? It's the least I can do to invest in real estate and make sure I can live off of in the future. At the end of the day, y'all got to understand, I'm no. just trying to make sure I have security and not have to worry about anything. Besides, I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Capitalism at its finest, so don't expect me to share anything with anyone. And by the way, here comes the top of the hour ad break. Let's get first be dibs fair, on those guys, viewers before it's too late. <laughs> before it's too late. Hassan, what is your biggest fear? My biggest fear is a future where fascism and authoritarianism rule the world with an iron fist, curtailing our freedom of expression and social mobility. This is one of the reasons why I'm so passionate about speaking up for those who can't and why I'm so vocal about pushing for social justice and progressive values in the communities I participate in. A world where there are powerful people at the top taking advantage of the vulnerable is every socialist's worst nightmare. And that's why I try to fight against it now before it ever happens. Oh, and I'm also afraid of super spicy foods, so definitely don't <laughs> mess with my burritos. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yuzi Hassan, if you were a Pokemon, which one would you be? Man, if I was a Pokemon, I'd totally be a rock type Pokemon. But with a twist, my moves would be left wing bias. I'll just crush all those neoliberal opponents with my strongest move, capitalist reform. Blast them out of the water. You better believe it. My stats would be off the charts in terms of leftist vigor. What? No mercy to the intolerant. Fuck them all. They got to understand the power of the working people. And that's what it's all about. The truth is a blast. The only Dude, limit is your amazing. imagination. That was really a wild ride. Do you have any wisdom for the viewers that you want to end this team oh, guess, that does not the last one. capitalism? Well, viewers... The exciting conclusion to all this is that wisdom has no price. What I've learned over the years is that wisdom is a matter of perspective and experience. No book, podcast, or interview can give you the level of understanding that comes from living in the moment and learning from your mistakes. I'm sure we can all agree that knowledge has to be earned. So don't let capitalism or money be the <laughs> determining factor for being wise. Oh, and here comes the top of the hour ad break. So don't go anywhere, folks. <laughs> Dude, he couldn't go without the ads. <laughs> From the ads, baby. Either way, ads. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. So Tomorrow I'm going to interview Amaranth, uh, AI Amaranth. So good, and, man. Um, that was as good as I could have expected it to be, man. Holy hell, man. Amazing. Can we get Drake's for the Hassan AI? Very good. <clears throat> Amazing. Wow. That's freaking good.